Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 718. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 715 to 721. Hey, we have a great calculating hours worked video, and this video is going to be pretty comprehensive. We're going to do day shift, night shift. We're going to even look at how to add lunch. I mean subtract the lunch depending on whether it's a weekend or a weekday. So 8 to 5, that's a total of 9 hours, but there's we have to subtract since it's the weekend a half, so we get 8.5. During the week, Monday through Friday, we have to subtract an hour, so we get 8. Our formula is also going to have to deal with the fact that we have night shift, so you could start at 10 p.m. and get off it in, in the morning, which uh, you know, your standard basic time formula won't handle that, so we'll make a slight uh, adjustment for that. And also we need to, if it says off or there's nothing in here, we're going to need to have a zero there. Let's go ahead and come over here and first talk about time. If I type 8 colon 0, 0 space AM, that tells Excel that this is a time. You can see up in the formula bar that it was entered as hours, minutes, seconds. But when we type that, we auto formatted time format. This is not actually what's in the cell. If I control 1, that's the keyboard shortcut for format cells, and apply general. Notice here's the sample. As soon as you apply general, that's the number that really is in the cell, which means time is a proportion of one 24-hour day. Now control Z, What's 8 divided by 24? 1 third or 0.33. Okay, so that's important. That will uh, help a, a number of times throughout this uh, video. So how do we calculate the difference between two times? Well, not considering uh, night shift, we're simply going to take the later time minus the earlier time. Control Enter. That brings the formatting from here down here. If I want to show it as a decimal, I'm going to apply general. Now I could go control one and then general, but the keyboard shortcut for um, general format is control plus shift plus tilde. And when you're doing a lot of time and date math, this keyboard shortcut is awesome. Control shift tilde. All right, so. Uh, showing two de decimals there, 0.38. Actually, it'll sh general will show however many there are up to the 15 significant. Now, if I copy this over here um, and I copy it over one more, now there's a problem, right? Because we have a, uh, this is what we want to consider the later time, and this is what we want to consider the earlier time, but Excel doesn't see it that way. Wait, since this is the proportion of one 24-hour day, this is much bigger decimal than this. The way around this, and I have a whole video that explains why the mod function does what it does, there's a link up there, we simply use the mod function, equals mod, and we do our later time minus our earlier time. And we divide by 1. The divisor is 1. That will do it. And really, if you don't, can't, it, it, and this is actually hard to understand, but it's from the algorithm. And if you read the help on mod, it tells you how it cal calculates it in that video I show you. But boom, it works like magic. Control Shift tilde, and I'm going to copy it over to 3. So now we see uh, point. 29167 is uh, seven hours worked during the day. And you could even prove it to yourself equals seven divided by 24. And you get the same thing. All right, so that's the uh, time. And then, really, if you're doing time, a time sheet, you should just use this formula because it'll do either day or night shifts. Now, Actual hours worked is another trick. These are decimals, and if we were to, and there's a number of ways to do this in Excel, but the way I like to do it is, if I'm taking how many hours I worked, and I want to multiply it by my $10 or $15 wage, well, that's not going to do it. So what you have to do is you have to take your time, and I'm going to do the mod again. I'm just going to take my later time minus my earlier time, comma 1 and then times 24. Whether you're doing this formula here or this formula, you got to multiply it by 24. So that'll give me 
control shift tilde, that would give me nine hours. Here you'd have to do parentheses times 24. All right, now one last bit. And really, we could actually uh, put this, uh, we could take this right here, copy it, zoop, and put it up here. This is almost what we want, control shift tilde, and then I copy it over. We have a couple uh, problems. One is we're going to have to deal with that. And the next problem is we need to subtract uh, half an hour for Sunday and Saturday and one hour for all the rest. Well, we can use the weekday function. The weekday function is just awesome. And it knows. Notice it says serial number because weekday looks at dates. And just like time, time is a serial number, dates are also a serial number. Uh, time is the proportion of one 24-hour day. Uh, date, the serial number, is the number of days since December 31st, 1899, where January 1st, 1900 is 1, January 2nd is 2, etc. You know, right now in 2010, September, we're about 40,000 some odd days. But weekday, I'm going to um, put a serial number and comma the return type. Um, I'm going to pick this one, 2, numbers 1 for Monday through 7 for Sunday. So 2, you can just type a 2 or a double click it there in this version. All right, so let's just see what this does and see if we can recognize a pattern that we can use to trigger our formula to subtract a half an hour for uh, weekend and a 1 for Monday through Friday. Now, 7. Okay, so 1 through 5, all of those we subtract 1, but anything greater than 5, we want a, a half. So let's just think about this. We can come over here. We can take this, copy, or let's just build it right here. We could say if, let's just see if we can put uh, a 1 in the cell right here and copy it over for the um, weekdays and a half for Sunday. So weekday, let's just say if that is greater than 5. Now what if this is greater than 5? That means it's 6 or 7. Well, we want a half. But guess what? We can't type 1 divided by 2 or 0.5 because that 0.5 is a decimal which represents halfway through the day 12 hours. So we have to do this. 0.5 divided by 24. That's just one way to get the decimal for a half an hour in a day. Now, comma, that's the value if true because we get a greater than 5 means 6 or 7. The value of false, we want 1. Let's just see if this works. one divided by 24. How about that instead? Let's just see what happens if you can't see these decimals. I mean, you could do the decimals over here. You could go uh, equals one divided by four and prove it to yourself. But what happens if we go ahead and format this as time? Control one, and I'm going to click time. 1230, that would be a half an hour into the day. And 1, 1 a.m., that would be one hour in today. So that's working just fine. Now, we can take this, because this is the amount we need to subtract. Now, copy. I'm copying it in edit mode. Now I'm going to come over here, minus, and just pay, play, place that. So it's either delivering the decimal for a half or one hour work. So we subtract it. Boom. Control Shift tilde and copy it over. Now let's just get rid of that. We want to do the straight time. The, the this will give us the decimal minus that decimal there and copy it over. Control Shift tilde and then we'll put parentheses around that for uh, 24. That's the decimal, right? Now one last thing. Right here. Now, there's a few ways we could deal with this. We're going to do some sort of if. We could say if this equals to off, and this is blank or something. But why not just skip to the chase and say if these both of these cells have numbers in them, then do our calculation, because that's what time is. That way, the calculation won't be made until you enter an in and an out time. So we'll say 
are both of these cells numbers, then do the calculation otherwise zero. So I'm going to come over here, and there's a few ways we could do this. If now there's two things. Is this a number and is this a number? Now we could use the AND function for our logical test and say is number, boom, is number, boom. And we could do that. Let's just look at that. And and then there's two things. And AND will look at both logical tests. And only when they're both true will it tell the IF function to calculate the, the mod. Is that a number? So and that's the first logical test. I'm going to type a comma. And then the next one is, is number this one. Close parentheses on the is number. There's the logical uh, test two. Close parentheses on that. And then that's the logical test. So I type a comma. And then the rest of it is just our calculation. That's what to calculate if true, comma, 0. That's what to put in the cell if false. And then uh, copy this over. And notice we got our 0 there. Now finally, we have our whole thing. We can simply multiply uh, either at the beginning or the end times 24. Control Shift tilde. Notice when you're building your formulas, that keyboard shortcut is just awesome. And sure enough, we have exactly what we want. 8.5 hours here because we subtracted a half. 8 here. It got the night shift, right? exactly 7 hours minus 1 because it's during the week and a 0 here. The only other uh, thing if you we could do a slight variation on this and I'm going to do it right here. Instead of doing the is number is number twice we could do now you know what that this formula is just fine there's lots of other ways we could do that. Um, all right how to calculate hours worked whether it's the day shift or the night shift, and subtract one hour for the weekday, half an hour for Sunday or Saturday, and even plop a zero when the sheet is uh, filled out without numbers. All right, we'll see you next trick.